Look at here. Look. Look. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Crossover's Bison. Welcome back to our channel. We're doing a project today. We're gonna to do a test, a treatment test on our water tanks. You can see the Blue Healer Maya, some water out of here, but we've got three tanks. You guys probably remember me putting a lot of work into it in the fall, trenching a thousand feet of line, setting three water tanks, automatic water tanks. You can see our float valve here which is doing great but of course with these water tanks and then the heat and the sun comes moss algae and all that good stuff that occurs in here just like a pond i've got some plumbing down there you can already see it's green so we're going to do a test on these to try to clean our tanks yes i could stop them drain the water out and scrub them which they probably need that every so often but we've got a test trial we've got three different things that we're going to do so we've got a stock tank defense tablet we've got that safe for horses and all livestock three months supply and then something else i've never heard about before I mean, you can get this at a lot of local ranch farm and ranch stores but stock tank secret here these are called barley straw treatments barley bags also is what i've heard them called so it's just a tow sack yeah. uh, full of barley or straw hay straw do that and then last but not least we're gonna do some of brooks's goldfish they're not very uh golden colored or orange colored but uh this is all that they basically had these are actually called comet goldfish they're not very big right now maybe an inch or so you got a couple of floaters in there but uh we've got to get this in and get it started so first treatment is right here this is our biggest stock tank we're going to put these goldfish in here the lady at the store told us to set the bag in here for 10 minutes let them adjust let them adjust to the temperature of the water in the tank which it actually is not warm actually it feels kind of cool then we're gonna get the water pour it actually out not dump this water in the tank and we'll put the fish in here and they'll live <gasps> what are they doing oh what are your fish doing you don't want to let them go yet Nope. <laughs> Look, got some bison here. Here's your fish. Look at them. Okay, let's get a bucket. All right. <gasps> Look, Brooks. It's probably not gonna. Oh, wake it, wake up, wake up, buddy. Oh, you got it. 
already dying on me. Yeah, I don't know if you made it, Brooks. Okay, here. Look. Look. Whoa. Come on, buddy. Wake up! This one? Maybe not. Give him to the coons. Is this guy gonna make it? So, these comet goldfish supposedly can get up to 14 inches. I guess the regular goldfish uh, get normally up to 8 inches. So, we'll see if they even live that long. 14 inches, that's a good sized fish. So, we'll come back and we'll check these guys in a couple of days and see how they're doing there are a couple little critter bugs in there and whatnot just saw one plenty of moss algae this tank is actually really not that dirty the whole they'll hopefully clean up a bunch of this stuff and i know they're little but that was the only thing we did so we bought like 22 of them or 20 and a couple of them were looked like they were on the edge of not making it so anyways We'll check it. Hopefully those guys will be growing pretty fast. I think they grow pretty fast. Next tank. All right, we're at stock tank number two. This is what I call our silo stock tank, water tank, tire tank, whatever you want to call it, several things. But this is where our yearlings are. They're hanging out in here. It's a little murky right now. Normally, I think this one is the cleanest and it's definitely the coolest. It's got the shade tree right here most of the day. And so this water stays a lot cooler. Plus these yearlings, they drink a lot. So this is where Lumpy is too as well. So Lumpy's in this pasture and we're gonna go ahead and treat it. Okay, so on this one, we're going to use the tablets. Keep stock tanks clean and clear, three months supply. Treats up to 150 gallons stock tank for three months. We're going to go to our third stock tank, which is the Big Joe Herd stock tank, and we're going to put the bag of straw in there. Try that. Okay, so the last one we're going to do, we're gonna go with the straw. I thought this was so cool. I thought it was interesting. A guy at one of the feed stores recommended this to me. And I'd never heard of it. Barley bag. Barley bag is what he called it. So this tank, you guys can probably tell, is green. Yeah, we've had a bunch of rain, so the sucker's full right now. This is the Big Joe lot out here. Big Joe's water tank. We're going to try this. All right, so something I have to do first is uh, put some weight on it. Because this thing is really light. This barley bag is really light. So I just got a good old natural rock here. I'm going to drop this thing down in there. Oh, yeah, that thing's way down there. All right, water may rush over a little bit. Okay. Barley bag is set. You can see the water break up right there just from settling. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nice to have Marissa and baby Brooks out here hanging out with us, helping me out, doing our water tank 
treatment test. We will come back in a week and see if there's any changes. Obviously, the, the Comet fish, we'll see how they do. Obviously, they're pretty small, so it may take those guys a while to, uh, to get after that tank. But we should start seeing some change from the barley bag and the tablet. We'll uh, keep you updated. That's the first round of treatments, and we'll see which one works the best. I've heard good things about all of them, so we'll go from there. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to us, guys, you can follow us along raising the awesome American bison. Just doing things like this to try to improve their health and make sure that the healthiest they can be. And it's important to keep the water clean, especially in the summer when it gets really hot and that algae and moss sets in just like your ponds do or any of your stock tanks if you guys raise livestock. If you guys have any tips or anything on this, if you do something different or you know something that works, leave a comment below and we'll keep you updated and we'll come out with another video for this. Thank you guys. Also wanted to let you guys know, Kevin and I are gonna do something pretty uh, tempting and it may be pretty tough and very interesting, but we're gonna start switching out our bulls. We're gonna take Dunbar and move him and we're gonna take Big Joe and move him so that Big Joe can breed with different females and Dunbar couldn't breed with Big Joe's females. So, should be really interesting. I gotta get Dunbar and the big herd up, go from there. So, stay tuned for one of the upcoming videos. That will happen. Got some work to do behind that. Never done it before. So, we'll need some luck for sure. Thank you guys. What are those? What is that? Look at all of them.